So I had a chance to test out YouTube's new web prototype tool that allows you to vibe code your own video games and publish them directly to YouTube. It's called YouTube Playables Builder, and it utilizes Google's state-of-the-art generative models to build these interactive experiences. With the authoring experience, they're totally leaning into multimodality. So of course you can do text prompting, but you can also generate an entire game with an image or even a video reference. So the inspiration for my own game was this 360 video I made a while back called UFO Sighting at Yosemite Park. And in this video, there are some intergalactic visitors that are here to nab up some cows and while doing that, inadvertently end up grabbing my friend as well. And I wanted to make an arcade action game inspired by this video. All right, so there are two games, Xena Rancher, Endless Harvest, and Cosmic Cookout, The Great Cow Heist. And essentially, they both got very fluid UFO flight controls, uh, targeting shooting mechanism, and the ability to abduct our cow friends over here as you can see. And so this version of the game is all about distance. So you gotta clear like 5,000 meters to clear to the next biome. And as you do that, you basically start uh, getting more points and get more burgers. Along the way, you get a bunch of these power-ups. And yeah, it's just really a lot of fun. Works great on mobile and desktop. But the other cool thing about this game is like procedural terrain generation. So like based on the platform you're playing with, the next vertex of the terrain is generated as you go along. So it just scales up beautifully with you. Yeah, all the power-ups too were just really fun to code. The Playables Builder is just really good at coming up with very fluid mechanics for the gameplay and other things that make this game fun, like the progressively increasing difficulty. So in the first biome, you've got a bunch of these farmers eventually start dealing with tractors. In the next biome, you've got a bunch of these military vehicles to go up against. In the third biome, you got to go up against like fighter jets and not just these crop dusters that are dropping like fertilizer on you. The next game is Cosmic Cookout where you've got this canvas that you can explore. And here you can only progress to the next biome when you abduct all of the cows. Check out this angry horde of farmers. Uh, you got this mega burger that you can shoot at them when they start clustering together way too much. Um, by the way, these uh, assets are made with Nano Banana directly in the tool itself. You progress to the next level, you can choose some upgrades, and onwards we go to the next biome. And of course, as you progress through each of the levels, the farmers get better equipped. Eventually, you're going to have drones, you've got the military to contend with, and it's just a lot of fun. Now, this is my personal perspective, but if I had to speculate about where this tool and experience can go, I mean, it's really interesting, right? Like, suddenly you've got the ability to create games and have people play them off of your channel or in the playables tab. That's cool in itself. But when you think about the fact that you can actually remix other people's games, then things get very cool. Suddenly you may have this like virtuous cycle of creation, consumption, and remixing all inside of YouTube. And that's exciting because we really haven't seen the scale of interactive remixing outside of maybe Roblox. And that begs the question, could we reach a world where Roblox is no longer the YouTube of gaming and the YouTube of gaming is YouTube? Many thanks to the Google and YouTube teams for this early access opportunity. It was a lot of fun to build these games. And a link in the description below to these two games that I showed you so you can play them yourself. Belavel signing off, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Cheers.